Hey, hey! Oh, ho, 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 ho. here it is, guys. Here it is. The Rolling Thunder. Cobra, what you gonna do when the Rolling Thunder comes in to get ya? <laughs> G.I. Joe Rolling Thunder. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how the commercial goes for this one. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta look that up. If there even was a commercial, there had to be, right? <laughs> we gotta look that up. But anyway, here it is: the Rolling Thunder, GI Joe's Rolling Missile Complex. This thing transforms into a giant missile complex, and it's a formidable vehicle on its own before it even pops out all the missiles and stuck craziness. But uh, yeah, oh wow, crazy. This thing is awesome. I'm so, so happy to have this. As you know, there was a little bit of difficulty in getting it. I paid for it and it took a full two weeks before the guy actually shipped it after paying for it. And uh, oh, that was, that was a nightmare. Just, you don't know if you're gonna get scammed or if what's going on and then, but he finally came through and here it is, the Rolling Thunder. This thing is amazing. You get not only this giant vehicle with everything you see here, but it also comes with a little tiny rover, a six-wheeled six -wheeled vehicle with a rotating turret on front here. And you get Armadillo, the driver. Armadillo here is pretty neat. He's, he's kind of a plain guy, but, you know, cool nonetheless. It's not got a lot going on there. I wish his helmet came off, but it doesn't. The helmet's permanently attached to his head. No accessories for him, just him as he is. But still pretty cool, pretty neat. He's a good, he's all right, he does his job. This thing is massive. This thing is like, I don't know, two and a half feet long or something. It's crazy when it's folded up. When it's unfolded, well, I think it's gonna be like over three feet long. This is, I mean, usually, usually I film on this green platform here, but as you can see, it's going beyond where we normally, normally uh, work and operate. This thing has a cool turret up on top with a radar dish, so the G.I. Joe knows where Cobra is at all times. And we have a front turret gun that moves here and it goes up and down, up and down, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And then we have these two hatches for guys to get in. And there's even seat belts for them. Look at that. What? I know. Crazy. Look at this. Put the guy in and then put the seat belt on. Those seat belts, of course, are easily lost parts. So make sure you're looking for those if you're getting one of these. And we got another hatch over here that opens the same way. They're kind of like gull wing doors in a sense. And we got this little interior area here to take a look at. Let's move the light. We got a seat in there so you can sit a guy down and we can stand some guys up at the console inside there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. There are four rotating turret guns. They go all the way around, up and down. And these have seat belts on them as well. Check that out. We got four of them on this bad boy. So far, we can handle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys on this massive machine, plus one in the rover. But that's not all. Nine and ten can sit up in the top turret. And this thing is massive and cool. It just rotates around like this. We got a giant gun that can be put into a couple different positions. This thing is incredible. We got three giant red missiles up on top. And not only that, but there is a giant missile launcher in six different directions. It can even blow itself up by shooting this turret right here with this back missile. But this thing is pretty cool, and we got all these missiles can come off, of course. And uh, this whole unit comes off when you want to open these doors, and it becomes a little ground station unit that can shoot off missiles in any direction. I kind of wish this thing spun around, though, but that's, you know, just being a little, you know, yeah. We got two yellow missiles up front on each side and one yellow missile in the back on each side for added firepower. I'm not sure if these are supposed to face the other direction or not. Maybe we'll find out because we got the instructions here, too. But, yeah, that's about all the features we got on the outside here. Now we're going to have to unfold this, which means I got to put this camera on a tripod. 
But this thing is enormous. This thing is awesome. This is incredible. And I have no idea where I'm going to put it once I get done with this little spotlight. <laughs> let's take a look at these instructions and let's transform the thing into the missile base. Here we go. Yo, Joe. First off, let's look at these instructions. We got the G.I. Joe Rolling Thunder instructions. It's got some hubcap wheel assembly, some gantry assembly, the fenders, rails, all kinds of stuff here. This is this is like crazy. It folds out. We got missiles that work together. They're, oh yeah, there's ramps on here. This is where to put all the stickers. Folds out again. We got missiles going everywhere. Seat belts and straps. Oh, they have the missiles all facing forward right there in that picture. So, yep, they all face forward. That settles it. Oh, and then we got the blueprints on the back. The great blueprints. Love the blueprints. So cool. Very nice having the instructions with it. That is so cool. All right, here we go. Now we're going to unfold it. Transformers. All right, since this is so big, this is going to get weird, I think. Um, I had to move the lights so that you don't get glare, too much glare. There's a little bit on the left, but off the windows, off the glass. But this is so big that we... It's like, yeah, you, I can't, I can't do it the normal way. All right, we're going to drive this vehicle out of the way. Armadillo, you're going to stand over here. The first thing we're going to have to do is this bad boy goes back. Look at this. It keeps going. Look at that. It's almost off screen. It's so big. <laughs> and then this thing has to pop out. Got it there. And we can take the missile unit and set that down as its own separate little, little device. And then we have these doors, these, we got these, uh, they're kind of difficult to maneuver here, but we got it. Ramps come down. So it's coming off its hinge, but it's coming down. So ramps come down here, and now you can drive the vehicle up inside. So, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, pretty cool. And this is where I think it should have been stored. There should have been some nifty way to do these. Yeah, they don't really come off. and Like, they should have somehow laid flat, and then when you folded it up, it, this could be stored in here, but... I don't know. Let's see. We're gonna, yeah. We can be driving there. We'll do that. All right. Now these doors open up. And here comes the madness. Are you ready for this? Sometimes the missiles fall off, so it might not be as dramatic as it could be. Because they're not... Yeah, they're not staying on. There we go. <laughs> they're not staying on. It's not working like it should. There we go. There we go. The G.I. Joe Missile Complex unfolded. All right, now we got to take the, the the thing off the uh, tripod so you can kind of see this in its grandeur now that we've transformed it. Hope I wasn't really too much in the way doing that. 
but <laughs> all right here we go here we go but yeah we're just having fun we're just having fun here anyways so yeah we got this thing folded out now the the, the turret gun giant weapon is all back here able to defend and make sure cobra does not try to take out our missile complex while we're setting it up and then we got the missiles here on this giant launcher mechanism that comes here and these things are impressive i mean look at these missiles and then the hatch can open up this hatch can open up and there's more missiles inside here how does this work here i think it just comes right off yeah and there's three more missiles inside here and they do come out i'm, I'm serious i'm trying <laughs> they do they do there we go there we go so these bombs can drop off once the rocket is in the air once the missiles in the air <laughs> very cool and there's six of those on each rocket insane right i believe these are like nuclear warheads you know i don't know <laughs> does gi joe use nukes i don't know i don't know but we got a couple missiles here ready to take off at any at a moment's notice if G.I. Joe gets in trouble with Cobra and needs to. But man, this thing is awesome, isn't it? I mean, un unbelievable. So cool. Just so cool. I love this. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. Yeah, I don't, I mean, you got to have it set up like this, right? Like, this is how you got to do it, right? You know? <laughs> it's just like, holy cow. Do, 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 do. I guess in this mode, you would almost want to turn the missile around, wouldn't you? So that way you can, you know, this can, this can defend that way. This is defending that way. That's defending that way. My missiles are falling over. It's just so cool and so huge. <laughs> All right, guys. I think we've shown you everything I can show you on this thing. Thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys got, like, you know, cool vibes out of this video, man. I hope you guys like this one. The G.I. Joe Rolling Thunder Missile Complex Transforming Vehicle. Eight wheels of madness. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Now I got to find out where I'm going to put this thing. Have a great day, guys. I'm John. I'm out of here. You've been watching the Super Awesome Geek Show. And we got more G.I. Joe coming up later in the week. I got a week off. So hopefully I can catch up on videos. We got a whole stack of stuff to go through. So much cool stuff to check out this week. So... Hopefully we'll have a video a day. All right. See ya.